Hi YouTube, so I thought I'd do a video about the Solamax uh, S2000 inverter because I couldn't find many of uh, these on YouTube, only the promotional videos. So um, you notice the inverter's got three buttons and a nice little display panel. Um, brief overview is quite obvious really, you've got your, your watts that you're doing, how much you've done today and the total for this inverter. The inverter's only been installed a couple of days so you can see it's done 19 kilowatts. You've got three push buttons. You push the centre button, it brings up a menu, and then you've got the up and down arrows and then enter key. You can go through and see all the various statistics about the array. Um, you can go into the configuration menu, which is basically set um, at install, sets all the parameters about the country code and so on. Um, you've got a settings menu, which uh, you can set the time, the date, and the device address. Now this device address is used in the RS485 settings. So if you've got more than one of these inverters, which I do have, you can connect them together and they can talk to each other and uh, each one has to have a unique address. So in this case it's ID2 and the other one upstairs is ID1. Alternatively, you can uh, enable ethernet on them because they've got an ethernet port as well as an RS485. Um, and uh, this has got just the default um, private IP range. Um, and note there's no default gateway so uh, if you want to connect them up to any sort of web server or anything you need to have an internal machine to do it and then pass that out to the web. Um, you can set a TCP port that you can com communicate on. They all need to be on the same port if you've got more than one in the network um, which is odd. Um, status relay, status relay delay, I'm not sure what that does. The language is in English and that's all there really is to say about the actual inverter itself. Um, underneath, if I can try and get the camera to come down, 